Hi, I'm Meredith Curtis, and I'm so excited to be able to talk with you today. And um, today is actually Sunday afternoon. Now, it probably won't be when you see this, but I was listening to a sermon by my favorite pastor, and he also happens to be my husband. He's very, very cute, and um, he's aging well. You know, <laughs> we're almost 60, and it's so funny. Um, it seems like just yesterday we got married, we were dreamers, and now here we are. And anyway, he was he's preaching through Mark, and he shared this, and he made this statement, and um, he said, you know, some people wear a mask, a plastic veneer, to show people who they really are not. And I thought, wow, that is so significant because isn't that what we, we find ourselves doing? We don't want to do it, but we find ourselves trying to be the perfect mom or, you know, because we feel like that's what everyone expects of us. So we're just going to put on this mask of perfect mom. Or maybe, you know, everybody just thinks we have a bad temper, so we're angry dad, I'm angry dad. And maybe the truth is that angry dad has a lot of pain and hurts, but he's not gonna deal with those, he's gonna be angry dad. Or maybe you're a teen and um, you are going through a lot and there's a lot of questions swirling through your mind. And so instead of talking about those, you put on sulky teen. I'm I'm a sulky teen. Well, oh, you know the earphones in, and I'm just tuned out. And um, so I hope I didn't step on anyone's toes, but I know I can put on masks myself. So I'm sure that you do too, because I think I'm a pretty normal person. And the thing is, as Christians, we don't have to put on a mask, because before we had any good in us. God set his affection on us. That's the gospel. He loved us before we loved him. In fact, he loved us when we were his enemies and he knew the real us. And his opinion, even though we lose sight of that, his opinion, his opinion is the only one that matters. And so when he saves us and he fills us with the spirit and transforms us, and I know for me, I will never be the same again since Jesus saved me when I was 16. And so I feel like as a Christian, when I want to put on a mask to impress other people, I need to remember, I don't have to wear a mask. I can allow people to see who I really am, flaws and all. And I have a million flaws. But you see, even my children and the people up close to me, they know my flaws, but they love me anyway. But something else happens when people can see the real you with your flaws, with your vulnerabilities. They see God working in your life. They see him changing you. They see him setting you free. They see him teaching you. They see you responding. And all of a sudden, Christianity goes from something far out there, something not real, to something very genuine, something that people say, oh my goodness, that is a real person. And Jesus is working in her life. Or that is a real person and Jesus is working in his life. So maybe there's hope. Maybe I can let him love me too. And so I wanna encourage you, if you're wearing masks, take them off. First of all, if you have never let Jesus love you, then you know, you need to repent for your sins and you need to be reconciled to God because he does love you and he can forgive your sins and he can give you a brand new life. And if you know Jesus, then let's get real. Let's be a real person with real strengths, real weaknesses and real flaws who is in a vibrant, living, growing relationship with God where he's changing us and we are along for the ride and enjoying it. And we're okay that we're not perfect like that plastic veneer mask because see those masks aren't real. No one is really like that. And so be real, take off your mask, enjoy the grace of God because he'll do something amazing in your life. God bless you.